The question is, who is Gav Boo? I hopefully will answer that question and give you a bit of an insight. Well, Gav is my first name and Wairo is my Fano name. I'll come back to Fano. You might ask, how does Boo fit in? Boo is a nickname back from my rugby days, which, let's be honest, nicknames was common as bread and butter. And if you're from Aotearoa, like all young rugby players, we all aspire or dream of being All Blacks. And like 99% of players, that dream remains a dream. However, through playing our number one code, I had a lot of other opportunities, i.e. social interaction, networking, and even traveling the world. I lived in Holland, drank, and had an experience of a lifetime there. Back to the nickname. Well, there's no great story behind that nickname. It actually came about from a PlayStation rugby game, believe it or not. Jonah Lomu Rugby. This was a popular game back in the day. A player called Ubugu, and then progressed to Bubu. So not Yogi the Bear and Bubu, which is top of mind for a lot of people. Now Fano. This is where the hunger for the outdoors evolved, or as I like to call it, Mahi Kai. I was raised in the early days with my grandmother. Being raised for my kuya presented me with the old ways, and that is also debatable depending on which generation you're talking to. The term back in my day comes to mind. My kuya, Fano, are from a small east coast settlement called Mahi, Rungomai Wahine is our tribe. Living there, I spent a bit of our time on our marae, kaiuku, and harvesting kai was a normal practice, whether it be fruit, vegetables, kai moana, and preserving the season's harvest for later consumption was also making the most of opportunities. Kai moana was an expectation for visitors and a highlight for this area. Now, the root of my mahi kai was kai moana from Tangaroa. My kuya had no problems harvesting whippy, bubu, ika, kinna, and pawa. And seeing this through my eyes and seeing the satisfaction of whānau and whānau indulging in this kai was rewarding so I started my learning through my kuya. And added to what was passed on to me, which makes it more special, was my kuya couldn't swim but yet had no problems harvesting kai. My later years I moved to Manawatu, you're probably thinking students two turbos and even wind turbines, but certainly not tangaro. After my rugby career, I needed to fill my hunger for mahi kai, so I challenged myself to harvest tia from Tane Mahuta. Having no mentor challenged my perseverance being the driven person that I am. Years after taking on the challenge, I am now comfortable to be able to harvest tia and can fill my ambition to mahi kai. Being raised the old ways, I know where my kai comes from. It comes from here, not from here. This is something I hope to pass on to my tamariki one day. Now, mahi kai in the maunga has evolved and is still evolving for me. I now challenge myself to new species and whenua around the mutu. And my colourful personality comes through my videos. And I had some great mates join me on this journey. I've taken red tear, fellow tear, Puaka and recently Himalayan Ta in the Southern Alps. What an experience. I have pushed my fitness and shooting abilities to new levels and continue to push my boundaries to better myself. From Moana to Moanga, new species are on my ambition list and this is all part of my journey. This channel is that journey, the world through my eyes which was passed to me from my kuya, ancestors and living the life to the fullest. Now I hope that has answered the question who is Gav Boo Boo? This is my journey.